Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm John with Three Line Survival, and today we're going to do a review and a walkthrough of the Eberly Stock Recon Bino Harness. So let's get into this. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. For our subscribers, if you're new to the channel, hit that like and subscribe button. Check out uh, the videos that we have, uh, some gear reviews, some uh, some uh, firearms, different stuff like that. But today, I want to talk about a uh, item I picked up probably about, uh, I guess maybe it's a year, year and a half ago. Uh, I picked it up when it first came out, and that's the Eberly Stock Bino Harness, Recon Bino Harness. Uh, cool little bino harness uh if you <clears throat> are a subscriber to the channel you you probably saw our last video was the uh condor uh h2o bag it was a little long-winded it was a two-part series but there was a lot of stuff that i wanted to go over in that and uh so it took up took up a lot of time but hopefully you're checking out both parts of the uh video um see what we got going on in there this is another uh i consider it you know part of we're we're doing some uh packs backpacks different stuff like that and this is something that i consider to be part of my uh pack system uh the the uh, bino harness uh super important at least for me to carry around a set of binos and uh, some other gear uh, at all times uh, especially you know when you're out uh, hunting if you're you know glass and stuff like that like I've said before, I live out here at the foothills of the Rockies, so uh, there's a lot of open space, and uh, being able to, to see what's going on is, is super important. And having a set of binos that is readily available uh, to you is also super important. So I looked at quite a few uh, bino harnesses, and I decided to go with this Eberly Stock uh, Recon bag. Um, one of the reasons that I went with it is that it's a modular system, so you can add uh, lots of things to it. It's not just the, the bino harness and the, and the bino pack. Uh, there's uh, plenty of uh, additional things that you can put on this. And the reason why is because they have included these little uh, molly wings that are off to the side. I don't know if you can see that there. <laughs> These two little wings uh, just has like a, a micro molly setup. Uh, you can purchase uh, different stuff at Eberly Stock uh, for this bino harness. And these are three of the bags that, that I picked up uh, to add to it. So uh, let's take a look at oh, another thing here on the back. Uh, it's got this great back piece that also has molly. And as you can see, I have some uh, quick clips attached to that. And we'll get into this in a minute. But uh, let's take a look at what we got here. So great looking system. Uh, you can order this in uh, many different uh, colors, camouflage. They have different uh, colors of camouflage, different styles of camouflage that you can order on their website, everlystock.com. Um, this one I picked up in Ranger Green. I just wanted something that I could take out with me, you know, hiking when it's not hunting season. Um, and it didn't look, you know, like I was out, uh, you know, trying to conceal myself or hide or anything like that. Plus it's just a great, great looking color. I believe this is the, I believe it's the Ranger green, but this one is, uh, the small, I believe. And the reason why it's the small is because when you go on their website, uh, they basically have a, a whole list of different, um, binoculars that that uh, binocular manufacturers that you can choose from and then you go into that you click on like my I have vortex in here um, you go on to vortex the ones that are in here are the crossfire HDs 12 by 50s so sorry about the camera here. so uh, you, you you go in there and it'll tell you you know what size bino harness uh, you want to purchase for that uh, you know specific binocular so it's got a magnetic magnetic closure, comes over, folds down nice, stays out of your way so you can leave it in this position. Like I said, these are the Vortex Crossfire HDs, and just get these out of here. Nice, 
you know, nice binoculars. I enjoy them. Uh, we'll probably do a review on these at some point, but I want to try and keep this video short. Uh, it's got uh, lanyards for your your binoculars. They're like a uh, like a spandex or not a spandex, uh, you know, like kind of a bungee uh, material, so it won't shock the the binoculars if you do drop them. Um, you know, it'll recoil. Um, it'll absorb that that shock and won't cause any harm to your your binoculars uh so far this has been you know a nice bino harness uh for me uh, as far as carrying my binos the only problem is as you could probably see with me just putting them back on is when you put them in, in this configuration the uh, glass caps come off pretty easy so i try to put them in like this um a little unconventional but that's the best way i found uh two nice little uh rare earth magnets here hold your your binoculars your uh binocular case closed protects them you know keeps the dust and dirt and stuff like that out um it comes now this when you buy this it's just this and and the harness um you don't get these additional bags these are accessory bags and we'll go through those, but uh, the it has a, a front pocket on it. Not too big, but you know, not terribly too small. Just got a couple things in there. I got a a boo boo bag. Um, I believe I have a signal mirror in here, and I have a fire starting system in here. You know, lighter, some black beard fire starter wrapped up there in the in the case. And if you've seen the Condor video, you know that I always all my lighters. Um, they're brand new. When I put them in, I try to keep them, you know, uh, full or, you know, make sure that they have uh, a significant amount of uh, gas in them. And I wrap them in duct tape and I also put some of that uh, tarred twine on there. You got that up here, right there. So I wrap the top with probably about 20, 25 feet of tarred twine real tight around the top just to keep um you know everything uh slim and compact but uh that tarred twine is a great fire starter and it's a great it's great to assist you in getting a fire going off to the one side here i have uh my range finder this is just a, a bushnell um bone collector I'm not sure but you know it's a nice little range finder uh, you know i take this out hiking with me and like I said, you're in the Rockies here, so having a rangefinder, especially for me, because I'm not from uh, the West here, I'm from the East Coast, and we don't have uh, the open, um, the vastness that uh, we do out here. We have a lot of trees and stuff in the way back there, so you don't really get, you know, a far line of sight. You're, you're usually only seeing maybe out 30, 40, 50 yards at the most. Um, sometimes in the cleared space is a hundred, but you know, you're not looking at thousands of yards like you are out here. So I, I like to keep these with me. Uh, it's great for when you're hiking, you know, you're trying to figure out, you know, how far it is to your, your next point or you see something and, and you want to, you know, glass it and, and get the range on it. Great little item to carry. This also has, um, you know, a lanyard, uh, for it. Uh, I believe this came, this might've come with the with the range finder, but it's got the hooks, uh, I believe on either side. Yep. For, for the range finder, you know, to hook that into, so you don't lose that. Now this bag here, I have an issue with, because if you take a look here, this also has a magnetic closure, which is awesome, but it's like way too small. See, it doesn't stay. And I can never get this thing to stay, uh, you know, closed over top of the, uh, the rangefinder bag. Plus, it doesn't have the sides like you know the the main bag does here for your binoculars. So you know you can get dirt and crud and stuff like that in there, depending on what you're doing. Um, but yeah, that's that's my complaint. Really, my only complaint about this entire bag is this actual bag. You know, I wish Everly Stock would have made this lid a little bit bigger, but they didn't. Over here, I just have an accessories bag. It's just a small bag carries, you know, incidentals, whatever it is that you want to you want to carry. Um, in here, I have a headlamp and I have like a multi-tool. 
that bag is, you know, just like I said, for little incidentals. I can also put a couple more things in there if I want. In the front here, there's a nice pouch. Uh, this thing fits my phone, so I can slide my phone in there if I want to, but I have a, a different system for carrying my phone. Underneath here, this is the recon, or this is the, what is this thing called? I can never remember what this bag is called, but it's another bag. Uh, what they have back here is they have a system. It's got Velcro. It's kind of like a tactical system, you know, for like a, 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 a little pouch that goes under your, what do they call that, dangler. Uh, it goes under your tactical system. But Velcroed goes over that, and then there's the uh, loop on this side, so it keeps that nice and secure. Nice padding back here, so you don't have, uh, you know, anything rubbing on your chest, uh, causing issues. Plus, it's breathable. This is really nice material. Um, I really enjoy wearing this thing, and don't even really know, once you get it, you know, uh, fitted to you, you don't really notice that it's on there. But this is just a small pouch, and you can buy different pouches for down here, like they have a hand warmer pouch. They have uh, a pouch that has, or not a pouch, just like a flap that has molly on it where you can put your gun holster in there and you can carry your gun on here um the back here they do have a little pouch and i just keep a you know just a, a little compass not a you know nothing extravagant or anything like that but it's a pretty decent compass um i got this one free from uh us cca i'm a member uh make sure you're protected if you're if you're a carry person but it's a it's a decent little you know compass. It's got a magnifying glass so I can start fires and stuff like that. Um, it's got some scale on it so I have a map I can scale out the map that I'm reading and tell where I'm going. But this pouch back here, it's probably about all it's going to hold. Uh, just small stuff. You're not going to be able to slip a pistol into there. They do make a pouch that has a uh, or they do make a bag, uh, a binocular bag that has a pouch back here that you can put a uh, pistol in, but I like to keep mine on my hip. Um, it's just what I'm used to. But getting back to this little bag here underneath, like I said, there's multiple ones that you can uh, put in here. I decided to go with this one. I might want to get the hand warmer bag, we'll see. Um, it's kind of something that I'm interested in, but I like having this little pouch. And there's not much room in here. Um, you know, I can carry some, some beef sticks. I got, I think, a couple... Uh, couple of those glow sticks down there and I got some hand warmers in here to keep my my hands warm but uh you know cool little pouch uh man I forget what they call this one but yeah it's uh it's a nice little little accessories pouch to go with this accessories pouch and again uh, for these you know these are just the three that I chose to put on this bag from for what I do uh, fits my needs and serves my purpose, but they have a, a bear uh, spray can holster that you can put on here. You know, it holds a, a big uh, thing of bear spray. Uh, they have a couple different bags that you can purchase uh, to kind of customize this thing. Uh, you know, the modularity of it, customize it for, you know, your specific needs and whatever you're doing. So... Nice straps. What I like about these is that they pull forward to adjust. You don't have to pull backwards. So you just grab these things in the front of you and you just pull forward, tighten it up nice. Uh, quick clips come out, you know, quick. <laughs> and, uh, you know, very strong. I have no issues with it. Um, this thing has served me very well uh, for the past year at least year and a half now back here this this is what i really liked about this system and i didn't see it on a lot of uh the other ones that you know that i took a look at different uh manufacturers different bags different bino harnesses and this is the only one that i found that had this kind of system on it most of them were just you know the straps that cross across your back and sometimes those you know depending on what you're doing they can uh you know cause issues it can cause you some discomfort or whatever this is nice and wide it's got that material on the back it's not really padded um, but i don't want it to be padded because it's on my back but it does have that breathable uh fabric i'm not sure what that's called but they have a full description on everly stocks website <clears throat> what all this is constructed of and made of and the materials they use 
but it's got this micro molly so you can hang you know a bunch of stuff back here you can put a little backpack on here if you want um you know you could if, if i really wanted to you know i could take i could take this uh h2o bag this condor h2o bag and i could weave these molly straps through that hang this on my back so i have my water bottle with me but i'll show you what i set this up for and wor what works best for me and that is this camelback uh, hydration system so as you can see this is all set up all i have to do is just clip this thing in here <clears throat> i'm gonna try and keep this video short but clip this thing in here uh, that's the wrong one boom boom to work around this camera it's right in front of my face and now you know that's attached back there and I can carry three liters of water uh, in a nice little insulated bag um, and that's one of the things I have this uh, where is it you know, there's a little magnet on here I have that on my hose uh, the other part of the magnet so that my um, you know tube hangs down in front of me but yeah, I can put this on there, uh, you know, three liters of water this carries. And again, if I wanted to, I could put, you know, this bag uh, on, weave those through here and carry it, you know, in a horizontal position and have uh, even more stuff, um, you know, to take out with me in the field. But I usually carry this, I have, you know, this bag and I usually carry this on me at all times. And... With these two things, I mean, you know, you're set. You can do pretty much whatever it is you need to do. And if you get in trouble, uh, you know, like I said, I have that condor bag. And if you watch the video, you know all the stuff that's in there. But you could probably also put... When I had this on my tactical setup uh, for my uh, heavy gun, the AR-10. And I had it on there for probably about a year. And I decided to go with something different only because you could only put the bag in here. Uh, when you put the bag in here empty, you could put maybe an MRE in here, broken down, you know, and obviously not the full uh, bag and everything with the MRE, but you could break an MRE down, you could slide things in there. But then once you filled the bag, it just got to be too bulky. Um, this thing's great for uh, just the hydration uh, aspect of it, you know, carrying the hydration bladder, it's insulated. So to keep your water cool, it's got some Velcro on there so you can put patches on it, stuff like that. And like I said, the Molly on the front, you can add more things to it. But I just, I went with a different bag. I think we did a video on that. If you subscribe to the channel, you can check it out or, you know, look it up. And uh, I have a different system on there now that carries uh, more food, more medical stuff and, uh, you know, more necessities to help me stay out in the field. But that's pretty much everything for this bag. Um, like I said, it's a great uh, bino harness. The, my only uh, complaint is this. And it's not even the, the pouch. It's just the lid on it. It just does not come over and, you know, uh, secure to the magnet on this side to be able to keep stuff out. Plus, it doesn't have that, um, you know, the spandex on the side like this one does keep stuff in here oh another thing on these they got little pouches on the side so i keep some you know zip ties in this one um you know you can put a flashlight or something in this one the bags aren't really that big and it's not intended to be you know like a like a backpack or anything it's just intended to have a few things you know while you're out in the field that are conveniently close that you can just grab and you don't have to take your backpack off and dig through stuff so that's pretty much it for this video. I want to keep this one short because the last one was so, so long winded. Uh, I don't think people, you know, want to sit through that long of a video, but check them out. Eberlystock.com. Um, I also run this. I have the, the gun runner bag and we'll do a, a video on that, but I like to run this with that. Um, I can run this with my Sitka bag. Uh, like I said, I, I have many, many backpacks for different purposes. Uh, I have a fishing backpack. I wear this with that. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Everlystock.com. 
uh, the Recon Bino Harness uh, modular system. Uh, like I said, different colors. Check them out. Uh, if you like the video, hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, leave a comment for me. You know, show me what you got going on. And uh, everybody enjoy the uh, great outdoors and have a great time out there. All right. Thanks, everybody. See ya.